What's going on, people? Tonight, we're going to talk about how to start service businesses fast and cheap. One of the situations that we seem to run into is many people want to start a business but have no clue to what they want to do. I'll get this in the comments all the time. Hey, Glendon, should I do affiliate marketing? Hey, Glendon, should I do a franchise? Hey, Glendon, should I do this or should I do this? And this is coming from someone who doesn't know what they need to do. And my suggestion is to start a service business because this hands down is one of the fastest ways that you can raise cash, make money, have the least amount of upfront cost, and literally earn money to reinvest in the business to make money. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump off into that because it's 2020 is, is over in nine days. 2020 is a wrap in uh, 2019 is a wrap in nine days. We'll be on 2020. And there are many of you who are in need of additional income. So what I've begun to do, let me see, let me go ahead and bring this up to let you know what's coming up because uh, you're hustling Godfather. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we educate people on how to make money through entrepreneurship. So this is how we go about this. And I got something good for y'all. I've got something really, really good for y'all. So hold on a second. Make sure that all of this is in the frame what I've worked on today and now we'll be working on this week because there's a lot of stuff that's coming. I've got this bundle. How to start a service business quick, fast and cheap plus money management. So what you're going to get is the money management course. I will teach you how to make money, how to start a service business quick, fast and cheap. And there's already, you know, the beginning tomorrow, I would be putting additional training here. I got a video uploading there, but essentially what this course is going to do for you is give you the template on how to start a service business. You know, one of the things, and it, it has a three pay plan. And as I add more stuff, the course will get more expensive. Cause you know, I get people ask me like, what is a service business? People pick up your trash. That's a service business. People clean your house. That's your service business. Me creating online courses. It's a service business. So there, there's a, there's, there's like a lot of service businesses. What makes a service business super attractive? You can get into a service business. I'm going to tell you the story of Cleaver. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, like literally five years ago, Cleaver, because this is the way I do it. I, I, I was doing it as I would do a live stream or I think a webinar. And you had to sign up for the webinar. And if you showed up for the webinar, it was free. And if you wanted the recorded versions, that was a cost for that. And I had this guy named Cleaver who was in the audience. And Cleaver was like, I'm broke. I don't have a car. I mean, essentially one of the first financial situations a person could be in. He was living with someone, he was sleeping on the couch and Cleaver knew how to fix computers. And Cleaver was what I do. And I instantly said, start a service business. And Cleaver started a service business. Cleaver knew how to do computer repair. He got on his bicycle, rode in the town, start knocking on doors, and his first day, he made $700. This is the power of a service business. With a good service business, your first month, you can make $1,500 to 
without a lot of upfront investment. And this, and who is this for? This is for all you people who are asking me, should I do franchising? Should I do affiliate marketing? Because many of you guys don't know what you should be doing. Don't have a clue to where you should be. You, you're just kind of like out here hanging out. Not really um, hidden on nothing. And also, I begin to understand why people are... I would not consider the real estate agent a service business to a degree, but you know, one of the things that we, we was like, we're not going to get into like something like a real estate agent or a plumbing being a plumber is a service business, but you got to go to plumbing school. You got to get certified. This is not something what I'm talking about. These service businesses is you can start today or you can start in a week. You can start these businesses very, very quickly. Tax uh, tax service is a service business. You can start these businesses very quickly and literally anybody of moderate intelligence. I can't say, you know, if you're on the low end of the intelligence school, but if you, you're a normal person and you could follow simple destructions, $1,500 to $3,000 your first month while keeping your job let's talk about this you're not going to start a service business to quit your job you're not going to do that you're going to do this in addition and this is the reason all right davida uh one of the things you, you're going to keep your job and this is the reason that i paired up the money management course because you know I should have did this years ago because essentially what I want you to do is to go through the money management course, get the five check and account blueprint, segment your job money and get your budget and stuff together before you start the service business. Because once you start the service business, then you start bringing in this additional cash with the proper money segmentation, your life will change. If you're one of the people uh, pretty much been the bartender, pretty much, because, I mean, if you're one of the 75 million Americans that make $33,000 or less, this can literally double your income the first year. Can literally double your income. Once again, we're, we're not quitting our jobs. You're not going to quit your job. And also, you're going to have the appropriate mental mindset that your weekends are gone. You're going to sit down like, I ain't going to be hanging out. I'm not going to be going on the bars. Every weekend, I'm running my service business. And I'm going to make me $1,500 to $3,000. Because if you just made $1,500 on the low end of the scale, kept your job. And what is 1500? I think that's 18,000 a year times 12. It's 18,000. So if you're making 33, plus 18,000, you just went up to $51,000. If you're on the low end of the scale, so you're making, if you go up to 3,000, so you're making 33,000 plus 3,000 per month. That takes you to $69,000. Andrea Jones, you're, you're in the service industry. So that immediately takes you, because if you make 3000 and I'm talking your first year, I'm not talking next year, the year after, literally your first year in business, if you're making $33,000 with your service business, you could double your income and get yourself some tax 
exemptions. You run a service business. You're going to have the cost of putting your business together. You're going to, so you're going to be able to create some deductions where that $3,000 per month is appropriately channeled. So one of the things is I believe in starting a business super lean. Like, I don't want you to set up a holding company or an LLC. I don't want you to do any of that stuff. Uh, Gene Gray, armed escorts, that security is a service business. All right, Ashima Azu, you want to move to something else? You know, daycare is a service business. But like oh, years ago, I had this guy contact me and he bought a console. He was working security. Handyman is a service business. He was working security and he consulted me. So we built him a business plan and this guy quit the job he was working. And then he created his own security agency. And instead of getting $15 an hour, he hired himself out at $35 per hour, $20 an hour more. Let's see. So 35, because I'm going to tell you the whole story in a minute. 35 an hour times 160. 5,600 bucks, all right? $15 an hour times 160 is $2,400. So he literally doubled his income doing the same thing. But he, he put himself in the front, the first spot of the pay position because the company that hired him, they were charging 35 bucks an hour, but they were paying him 15. And when, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, figure out what they're, you know, what you're, what they're, they're getting for placing you. And he was blown away when he found that out. He's like, they only paying me 15 bucks an hour, but they're making 35. What? He was shocked. So he started his own security agency and he got some of his boys which he sold out at 35 bucks per hour and he paid his boys 20 and he made an extra 15. So dude was all made six figures his first year when he was only making 2,400 bucks a month as a security guard. This is the power of a service business. You can, you know, cause uh, we're going to talk about sales and other stuff. So the service business, who's this for? If you're broke Dick Danny, if you are a person who doesn't really have a clue, you don't have any dream, you don't, you just don't know where to start. You're just working the job, you're, you're sick, you're disgusted, you're tired, and you don't really know how to get to the next level. You don't know how to move, make moves. And what I'm gonna do in this course is give you all of the stuff to get you started. There, It is mind blowing once you start operating the business. Cause the dude, he called me back and got another consult. Cause after his first year, they did like, he did 162 after paying everybody. Many don't need cash. This is the part, this is why I say start, you know, cause there's a multitude of service business, plumbing, heating and air, high vac, those are service businesses, but you need certificates. You can start like, here's a, a service business you can start. If you live in the neighborhood with a bunch of pets, you can start a dog grooming service and charge $25 for a wash and shampoo or whatever the going rate, maybe 35 bucks. You do 10 dogs a day, that's 350. You know, once you build up your clientele, because I'm going to teach you how to start a service business and I'm going to teach you how to market your service business because marketing is key. And I've worked on those uh, sections in the beginning 
but I want you guys to understand the money management course, you need to do that first. And that's included in this bundle. It is super, super important because once you go ahead and set that up, then when your business, because essentially I don't want, I want you to spend yeah. the least amount of money possible to start your business. I don't want you, you know, even if you got $10,000, I don't want you to pull your $10,000 out the bank. I want you to start this business as lean as possible because when the cash flow starts coming in, that's going to be an indicator of how successful your business can be. Because, you know, we're, we're going to do a lot of stuff to get you guys, you know, because there's a whole bunch of people who, who don't know what they want to be when they grow up. They just know they're tired of. Uh... All right, Darian Clark, they're just tired of doing what they're doing. Let me see. Y'all are y'all are on this today. Stand the man. Yep, I learned how to code. Did what Uncle G said. Made a thousand bucks last month. You know, developers like you go to Upwork and all these services. Fiverr, that service businesses. There, there's so many things you can do. All right, I'm just going through this the, the chat real quick. Life for a business. What about a service business that will help people create logos and courses to show people how to trade stocks? Uh, life for business. Once you get into creating a course, how to trade stocks, you, you, that gets complicated because anyone that creates a course on selling stocks needs to show a track record. And, you know, that's that can make you some money. But you're looking at a lot of steps to that. What I'm talking about is a service business. You can start just like that and start making cash like that. So you're creating the course. You got to trade stocks. You got to show graphs. That's going to take months just to create the course. So that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, Darren Clark, appliance repair. Uh, here's another service business and there, you know, there, there's a smart, a lot of people go around and you know that when washers and dryers break, people literally just give them away. So you'll get these folks who'll go pick them up, fix them and flip them. They'll get their inventory for free, dirt cheap, and then fix them and then sell them. So appliance repair. And, you know, there there's certain um, neighborhoods that certain business service businesses work like in my neighborhood, an appliance repair store is not going to work. These people have money to buy new and that's what they do. So you you if you're in like southwest Atlanta, you're in the neighborhood where the houses are 150 to 220. A lot of working class people an appliance business is going to work very well. I knew a guy that had. An appliance business, it was off, uh, what is that road? Because it's in the West End and you keep on and it passes Fort McPherson and it runs into College Park. And he had an appliance store. He fixed appliances and, and he sold appliances and he was doing like 150. And I, I think the store wasn't even a thousand square feet. He was doing like 150 out of that little store. So life for business, don't get, you know, because you can get complicated. But once again, the course is going to be designed to get people making cash 1500 to 3000 their first month. Independent courier, yes. Chef Joseph's kick sauce seasonings. I started a hot sauce business selling door to door and bar. You are a hustler selling your hot sauce door to door. That that takes a lot of courage. And also that kind of hustle gets a lot of results. So I'm not surprised that you are successful because a lot of folks wouldn't do that. Like just go, hey, I got this hot sauce. I bet you had thousand dollar days doing that. 
Jean Grey was wondering about insurance liability. In the course, I'm going to address that. The Vita Jane service-based business has so many opportunities. Some there, there's many that don't need any startup cash. Cleaver, he did computer repair. He had no startup cash in his first day. He made seven hundred dollars. His first month, he made five thousand dollars. This is somebody who didn't have a car, was living with somebody, had no money, but he had a valuable skill set. Mr. Urban World, I sit and speculate people. Once I figure out their personality, interest, financial status, I find wholesale items that they'll find useful, specific demographic, then trying to make passive income off of them. Uh, one thing, Mr. Urban World, if you're buying stuff wholesale and selling to a demographic, that is not passive income. That's active income. You're working for that income. That ain't even close to passive. But I, I understand and respect the hustle. Been the bartender, I see that all the time. In fancy neighborhoods, folks draw stuff that's usually in good condition, appliance and furniture. I remember I was going down Long Island other, not too long ago, and there was a perfectly serviceable bed from Ethan Allen. And the reason I know where it's from is I wanted that bedroom set. I just couldn't afford it when they had it. And it was from the uh, Dimensions Collection. Mr. Urban Real, I ran the same business as Omni and the Hellcat, just on a smaller scale. Apparently, you must have ran it legally because you didn't get in trouble. The I used to sell my oils door to door when I was living in the city. Hey, that that's that's a hustle. Uh, no, by passive items I purchased came with software that required a monthly fee. Okay, but it was still, you still had to find them and sell them. Once they buy, they pay a monthly fee to keep the service active. You know, service businesses like, you know, like Omni with a Hellcat, which is IPTV. And where he ran into problems was he was selling stuff that was copyrighted and he didn't have permission. He kind of left that out. So, you know, there, there are so many ways that you can do this, starting with a service business. And this is the perfect starter business for someone who just doesn't know what they do. And th this is one of the frustrating things because it happens all the time in the comments. I'll get someone that will just say, what about this business? What about that business? And this the fact that they're asking the question is telling me that they really don't have a firm understanding of what they want to do. And I used to be in that position because when I was in the military, I was a young buck. I used to try all of these businesses because I wanted to make some money. My customers were barbershop, family, family their co-workers, local bar, so it was more low-key. Omni was all over the internet in every state. Yeah, um, I found a chat board where they were talking about it. And when the service got cut off, a lot of people were pissed. Mobile detailing, that's another thing. We'll sell an IPTV for at least the 75,000 customers for 30. Let's see, what what is that? There was a lot of people. There, there's several chat boards about it. They're talking about it, and they're pissed. So that was 2.2 million per month. 27 million a year. Mr. Urban World, what's crazy? Omni wasn't the biggest. They took his money... Once again, I guarantee you that Omni actually 
you know, once again, you got to check the technique and the devil's in the details, because if the biggest guy is paying these companies to use their services, they may sue him. He only got sued. He's still a millionaire. Mr. Urban World, Omni was a small fry in the big scheme. Once again, um, there's a video with a, ta a CPA and she broke it down and, she, you know, just Google Omni and the Hellcat, where he went wrong with taxes and you on YouTube and listen. There, there's more to this story because let's take, let's go ahead and just say all of them are dirty and doing the right thing. There's some people who have the good sense to get the best attorney's money that can, that can buy. And um, I don't think Omni did that. You know, IPTV is not illegal. It's illegal when you use information that um, when you sell services, the copyright information, because they're getting in for piracy. That's one of the charges. So one of the things that you guys got to understand we got Erica Williams in here. Seventy-five customers is too risky and crazy. Well, if he wasn't the biggest one, that means folks have more customers. So we got Erica Williams in here, a prime example of what a service business can do. Erica did credit repair, which is a service business, and she did house painting which is another service business. Literally, if you are a hustler, you could start a house painting service and make 250K a year just painting houses. Money Mike, I use TaskRabbit. Uh, Flash, there's a, there's several different uh, service businesses. Go to Google and look them up. Produce 13, it's true that a business must choose two out of three of these attributes, fast, beautiful, or cheap. I heard that eventually you can do all three, but not the start of the business. We're talking about down and dirty. Uh, start a service business with little money spent and go ahead and get paid. Now, Erica used to paint. Erica doesn't do that anymore. Erica's graduated. Uh, Mr. Urban, where I remember this lady online used to load people's original iPods with their own music and she ended up making hundreds of thousands. Once again, timing, there, you know, there are certain service businesses that will work out now. Like if Steve Jobs and Bill Gates tried to start a computer company today, it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. Because the timing is wrong. Like everybody is on their cell phones or their iPads. You know, there's there's a lot of people who don't even own a computer. Unless they're in school or own a business, they do everything on their phone. They do everything on their um, iPad or they may have one of these Google, these downgraded Google computers you can get from Walmart for 300 bucks. Been the bartender, mow lawns, all the detail, dog walking. And once you go ahead and start the service business, start putting some cash in your pocket, then you can start hiring employees once you start rolling. And that's when you really go make a lot of money and keep your job. Because let's have this conversation. This is one of the dreams. Like everybody like my job sucks. I hate my job. And the reality is that job's paying your bills. Why are you going to quit it? 
Yeah, I saw that video. This shoe shining guy made nine hundred bucks a day. Now, Mr. Urban World, let's take that shoe shine business. That business works in New York City. Would it work here in Atlanta? No, it would not work here in Atlanta. He would have to go to the airport. He couldn't do it on the streets. Light bro, 20, 2002. I'm glad that's popped up in my selections. I'm just retired and wondering what I'm going to do. Light bro, if you have a source of retirement income and you start a service business, you can make an additional fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars your first year. Cutting grass, washing cars, uh, fixing computers. There's so many things you could do. Money Mike, I use Tash Rabbit's site to clean paint real simple furniture for my Airbnbs. Another guy sells candy in a tree. He, br he brings in 50000 a year. Patrick, I see a lot of auto detail businesses open. A lot of 20 year olds run them as well. Having a car wash is good money. I know a guy here up in Buckhead. He has a car wash. He does like almost $2 million a year. Eric Williams, look, these paint hustlers don't consistently answer their phone, just get you a follow-up phone, and you make all the money. This is a problem that has happened. People used to very much be on point. But if you develop follow-up skills, even with online dating, that will be a boon to your whatever you want. retired law enforcement you can start a security agency hire yourself out as a security agent make 35 bucks an hour since you got like credentials motory notary is great that would be a service business so th there, there's there's so many things and also one of the things that i'm going to do in this course is like we have uh light bro tw 2002 he was, a, he was a law enforcement. It would make sense for him to get into some type of security business. And once, and this is the thing, uh, Light Bro 2002, once you get in and learn the lay of the land, you could go out and instantly start hiring people and filling out these contracts. Where you sitting at home, literally you could start a security agency and make more money in retirement than you did when you were working your full-time gig. Uh, Camille at home, A for seniors is a good service business. Yep. Oh, man, light, bro. In the D.C. area, there, there's just money all over the streets. You could do a private security for these people on K Street, these lobbyists. There, there are so many things that you can do. Jeff Hart, I engrave people's items, jewelry, car parts, and other items, service business. Like when you go to the mall and there's these kiosks, that will change out the battery in your watch. That's a service business. I know Ben, he probably already knows folks. He, Cause see, this is what's the thing. Cause when you were just sitting there in your normal mind, your normal pedestrian mind, like, well, I need to make some money. And once you get into the hustler's mindset, I mean, I'm quite sure that Light Bro 2020, if he reached into his network and said, hey, I'm thinking about starting a security firm, what do you think? He would probably get people with some business and partners. Mr. Urban Royal, that, 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 that's, that's complicated right there, an arcade. Home repair, service business. George Powers, I would like to rent out houses or rooming houses. You, you need a house. You're going to need your first house. And as someone who used to own a boarding house, you're going to need the right neighborhood. You can't put those in every neighborhood. Because um, people 
people be watching. The, the, the more expensive the neighborhood, the more people notice what you do and what you don't do. All right, Andre. So one of the things that that was actually to this morning, man, Andre, that was this morning. So yeah, George, you need to get a house and you need to get a big house with four or more bedrooms. Extraordinary money. I know one dude shows up at people's houses, wash their cars on the regular, makes 150K a year. Mobile detail. And once again, it isn't, quote, the business. It's the follow-up and it's the management of the business that makes you the money. Like Erica said, a lot of these hustlers, I mean, people don't answer their phones. Because see, once again, you know, I got a part in here about the mindset because a lot of people don't have the proper mindset to run a business. Because see, here's something that happens. Many people like their hobbies. And if they take their hobby to where their hobby becomes an obligation, a lot of people just like, I don't want to feel obligated. I don't want to have to do it when I don't want to do it. I just want to do what I want to do and be happy. And typically people who are like that are usually broke. You know, there, there will be days that you just don't feel like doing some stuff. But if you're running a business, you're going to have to produce. You're going to have to hit it. I mean, there, there is so many. Well, because once again, we're going to keep these, you know, the intent of this course will be for you to keep your business as simple because this is for folks who want to make some more money. But really don't know what they want to do. The broke Dick Dannys of the world, the average man of the world, the 75 million people making $33,000 a year or less. This is who this is aimed for because, first of all, we'll use Erica Williams. I mean, you could go to her channel and you can see the journey. You have to watch three or four years of videos, but you can see she had a credit repair service. She had a paint service. Then she got rid of them, but she also got rid of her job. And she had these services where she had a job. So the first thing a service business is going to do is help you buy back your time. Like, bro, take this course. I will hook you up. Because for you, you know, for me, it was like I had a series of jobs before I started my own company. And I started my company while I had a job. I started my company while I had a job. And for anyone that's interested in taking the service course business, go below the links there. There's already the you, you get do the don't skip over the money management course. Don't skip over that and just go straight to the service stuff. Because the money management course and things that you'll do in the money management course will help you start up the business. They will help you because Americans, we, we just got a problem with money management. This is why the payday loan thing is going crazy. Buy here, pay here. Car lots are big. Uh, people just drunk on credit because people can't manage their money correctly. So once again, you know, these are going to be very simple how, you know, and one of the things I'm going to teach you is how to, <coughs> how to start the service business and also how to market the service business. There's going to be a section in there on marketing. Thank you, Gene, because marketing is everything. Going back to what Erica said about these folks, like when someone needs something and they're calling people, the people who get back to them the quickest usually gets the money. That's the key. It's 
Sky Blevin, one thing I learned, if you can't manage time, managing money will be damn near impossible. Ain't that the truth? Because time is money. So definitely, definitely, that, that's just a very important, and that Sky Blevin is a very true statement because once you, because you're going to keep your full-time job, except in the case of Light Bra 2020, who's retired, He's got all this time to devote to this, but you're going to keep your job. You're not going to quit your job because your job's already paying the majority of your bills and you're going to take the money management course and you're going to optimize your budget where you're going to be cool and then all of this new money comes in. This is what's going to free you. The new money. Lester Austell, I run a trucking company. Can you help me restructure my LLC to make it an asset to pass down to my kids? I'm almost 100% disabled vet, so yet money for lifestyle. Uh, Lester, who, who's running the trucking company? Who's doing the driving? Because here's the thing with leaving the trucking company to your kids. Someone's got to manage it. Have you trained your kids to manage it? Because, you know, going ahead and restructuring your LLC, that's super easy. But who's going to manage the company? That's one of the things that you, you, you got to look at because uh, I'm going to get rid <clears throat> Like, I'm getting warmed up. Like, this weekend, I got on this, and uh, the business classes are going to start really soon. I just got to go ahead and sit down and write up what we're going to talk about. And... You know, we're getting into it. Grant Barnes, have you covered intellectual property in any course? No. I mean, intellectual property, you know, when I create the YouTube course or the how to create courses, I'll cover intellectual property because here's how it works. Once you create something, that's your intellectual property. Like my, let me, let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. All right, so let's pull this back. All right, all this is intellectual property. Anytime you create a book, Anytime you create a video, you create a podcast, you create a song, that's your intellectual property. All of that's your intellectual property. And that is a whole different thing because, you know, here today we're talking about how to start a service company. So that's outside the scope of what we're talking about today because, you know, we're trying to keep these businesses lean, efficient, cheap to start, because essentially, you know, the way the course is going to run, you're, you're not going to do a holding company. You're not going to do an LLC. That will come later. The whole goal is to get this puppy started, to start making money. And the sooner you can do that. Because that's going to be the key. It will be part of the B school course, yeah. Because uh, remember when I said that I started B school, anything that I create before the end of the year, I'm going to include that in the digital. Because, you know, before you, it may be two years before you could do your digital thing, but you'll need some money. And during those two years, you can start a service business, get up to 100K, and then, you know, be in a position to do more because you, because the ability to control your time. Absolutely, Joseph Park. I serve people. This is one of the creeds from Earl Nightingale, lead the field. When you increase your service, you increase your money. 
Creating online courses in these videos is a service business. It's a little complicated. I mean, this isn't something that you, because essentially with the service businesses I'm talking about, $1,500 to $3,000 your first month, which is insanely fast for businesses. Many businesses don't make a profit the first year or two. So we're talking about money you can slide off in your pocket and start to stack. Charles Johnson, marketing my electrical service to new customers online has lost me all year. I had to stop, get website, social media presence all set up. Most customers want to check me out before they meet me. Uh, once again, we're going to address that because you're not going to start a website off the riff. Because see, if you have a website, you need to get traffic. And the only way that a new business is going to get traffic fast is paid advertising. And we'll talk about that. Essentially, we want to get this thing roll, get money coming in and start scaling it up. Because eventually your first month or two is just going to be getting started and making money. That's going to be your first few months. And we're not going to overcomplicate it by you setting up a website. Because see, as Charles Johnson just said, marketing my electrical services to new customers online had lost me all year. I had to stop, get a website, social media presence. Most customers want to check me out before they meet me. Like, you know, Charles, uh, I don't know if you're an electrician or whatever, but Charles would have benefited from paid traffic. Because doing organic, you know, starting a business and depending upon organic traffic, it can work, but it's going to take a minute. We're talking about two to three years for organic traffic to really kick in. Uh, let's see. Dallas just sucks. I mean, they, they just cannot win these tight games. Which is just this course for people to have a business that's not doing well. Uh, depending on, you know, if you need, to, well, I guess because your business would be like your job. And I said that this course would be in addition to your job. So, soul man, yeah. Because one of the things is, you know, uh, some of the training that I'm going to put in there could potentially help your business. I don't know what your business is, so I can't say. Like, bro, I know, man. I just be like, come on, Dak. Come on, man. And he just, it's just like, it's frustrating. It's just so frustrating. Because uh, it ain't like like Lamar, like the game with uh, Cleveland and the Ravens. And the Cleveland scored first, and that was like, and next thing you know, it was like Ravens 21-6. <laughs> I mean, it, there's something about a team that just doesn't let you down, you know. And the Ravens, I think, if they go to the Super Bowl, I think they'll win. I know, man. I mean, that gets a little frustrating because he did not end the season the way that he started the season. He didn't. Bang, bang, Niner gang. We could beat L.A., but not the Eagles. I know. I know. It, it is crazy. But L.A. isn't what they used to be either. But, you know, essentially, uh, I'm going to put in a lot of good training this week that will literally teach you how to set up the service business. I'm going to put in an analysis test. Uh, well, there's already some analysis information in there because I want you to start a service business based upon your strengths. One of the reasons that so many people um, start businesses that don't do well is they, they'll pick a business like they pick their girlfriend or boyfriend. It looked good to me. That's it. And then later on, you find out they're crazy and you ain't getting along. And that happens with these businesses because one of the th reasons I'm doing this is I've been watching a lot of videos about this guy, CoffeeZilla. And he does these videos about these fake gurus and people spending money for these courses and the people being disappointed. 
And one of the things I've noted, because as a course creative, I had people who were wildly successful and I've had people who were not successful. And I looked at it because when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I was like, why are these certain people so successful? And I began to figure it out. And this is the reason I'm doing foundational training. All of the people who were crushing it with 30 days to 2,500 already had been groomed and they went through a certain situation. I had one guy who took the course, he was making 20,000. It got him to 100K. An $80,000 a year a per month increase. He was doing 20K a month, taking the course, got him to 100K. So, you know, I'm gonna put some of that similar information in this course because essentially this course is for you if you've never started a business. And one of the things that happens with a lot of these online courses is they're good courses, but you already have to have a certain level of education and exposure for the course to be super beneficial to you. And the course creator doesn't know this because, you know, I spend a lot of time creating courses. I spend a lot of time looking at people getting results. CoffeeZilla needs to make a course about making the course. That's funny. Uh, in Cleveland went to sleep. That's funny. Soul Man repairing maintenance. Like, bro, I mean, seriously, if you've got the credentials, you've got the education, you can set up a security agency. And one of the things that you're going to have to do that you've never done before is, hey, this is Light Bro 2020. I have a security agency and you're going to have to start pitching to clients to get these contracts. And that's going to be in the course. Been the bartender. Oh, man, that, that's one of the critical things. And this is why you're not quitting your job. Because, see, you'll get someone that'll take this course and they'll kid it hard for a month or two. Then their money will get funny and then they're like, whoa, whoa, why did I quit my job? That's why you ain't quitting your job. William, I did some micro businesses, Glenn, and I made $30 with two days. You put that video up two years ago. Thank you, micro jobs are amazing. All right, well done. Uh, with this, With the service businesses, we're talking making livable money very fast. Money, because essentially this is why you're keeping your job. It's, and I have a buddy that's a certified instructor, see? I mean, once you, like, bro, just sit down tonight and write up everyone that you know in the industry, get their phone numbers and stuff, and just draw up a, you know, figure out what kind of security agency you want to start. Do you want to start, like, personal security? Do you want to do high-end security? Because you, security is a, a something that you can niche. I mean, there, there's so many ways you could do this. Power to achieve. I know this guy who pretended to be homeless and asking people money and averaging at least a thousand a week. You know, it's funny. When I was a kid, there was this guy who used to be in this wagon and there was something wrong with his legs. And it was reported that one day he got up and there was like all of this money he was sitting on and he got picked up by someone driving a Cadillac. And I remember watching this one episode of this, you know, and this is something that's funny. And I think I did a video tall, how to achieve like a crackhead without the high, because this one junkie who was on um, opioids, he said he spent $180,000 on drug and he said, if I can make this kind of money and be sober, I'd be good. And this is one of the strangest things. You see people who become drug addicts and make a grip of money because they're motivated by that drug. Ask Sue, is it better to buy the how to start a service-based business or is it better to buy the be, school, be hustler school? Please advise. Well, you know, there's a significant differential in price because the B-School Digital Education, which I'll be building out next year, is $1,600 to $199. And 
you know, it just depends on what you want to do. Do you want to start a digital business? Because here's the thing as, um, let's see where they go. Charles Johnson, online businesses are, can be fantastically successful, but they're not quick. And if you're starting from scratch, that can be a minute. And I'm going to include the service business course in the B digital education bundle. So, I know, Ben, a lot of people make that mistake. Like, bro, it was a guy in D.C. that would do the same and hawked in a jag, a jag after he finished begging. Yeah, you know, because here's the thing. I want you to look at starting a service business as your first starter business, like your starter house. And you're going to learn how to sell. You're going to learn how to market. You're going to learn how to make money. You're going to learn how to manage money. And these are transferable skills that you can transfer to your next business. So it's going to be like, it's a way for you to, number one, get to an income. Because, you know, the first year, you know, maybe double your income. Your second year will be your breakout year. And this is when you could potentially do this full time and then quit your job. And you'll be able to buy back your time. One of the reasons that I can be successful is, look, I control my time. No one controls my time except me. If I want to sit around here and eat... Um, Jungle Blend Indulgent Trail. If I wanted to sit around here and eat this all day, I could because I control my time. If I wanted to get on the phone and talk to one of my friends in the middle of the day, I could because I control my time. This is the first thing that you got to do is to buy back your time so you have time to think, plot, and plan for your next move. I know, man. You know, I just heard the story. I, I wasn't there. Gene Gray, there are videos on YouTube exposing him. They make this one guy who was a drug addict said he made like one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty a day sitting at a stoplight begging. Let me see. What is that? One hundred and sixty times five. That's 800 bucks a week times four. It's 3,200 bucks a year times 12. Well, $3,200 per month. That's $38,000 a year begging. So, you know, I watch a lot of interesting stuff, but I'm very excited about this and I'll be working on this course this week, giving you the training and stuff. Because one of the things is, it's going to be very important what service business you pick. Once again, because you, you, you're going to have an assessment. Thank you, Power to Achieve, for the $5 Canadian money. Great knowledge. Because if you pick, like we use Lightbro 2002, he's retired. He already has a lot of expertise in security. He could take this in so many directions and he would be operating from a power of strength because I guarantee you like, bro, there's stuff about security that you already know that you don't even remember because you're not even thinking about it like that. Because as a uh, law enforcement, you had to deal with security issues. There's certain things about the law, you know, certain things you already know. You just hadn't thought about it that way. And you would be operating from a position of power and authority. And this is one of the reasons that people start businesses and are successful. Like they will start a business that's in alignment where, where they're strong. Panhandling is a service-based business. I don't know what service they give. I guess they admit you get that little good feeling. Ah, hits you in the feels. Hits you in the fields, you know, because um, one of the things we're going to talk about, because I'm very excited about this, because, you know, Eric Williams, 
You know, y'all know Erica. Y'all love Erica. This is what Erica did. Erica started two service-based businesses to free herself from that job. She did credit repair and she did a painting service. And she built them up and she sold them, then took that money and invested in what she's doing now. Uh, like the guy who painted this, we had a conversation. That's all he does. He does $250,000 a year painting as a handyman. That's all he does. Like, bro, true and dignitary protection. I mean, there, there's just so much you can do with that in those credentials. Because here's where the average person goes wrong. Instead of looking within, they go out and look at something external. And they're like, well, let me try this. They don't really sit down and go like, what am I really good at? What do I have a lot of not? They don't start there. They just don't. The average person goes out, looks for something external because it's sexy. Like, you know, when I was uh, doing, because I oh, also started a new YouTube channel. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and um, hit this up. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of content coming here. It's interesting. Um, all right. I'm going to be talking about a lot of business stuff on this channel. So I'll put this link right there. This B School for Hustlers will be doing it there. How do you sell a service-based business? All right, this is how you sell a service-based business. Once your service-based business gets to a certain revenue amount and has a book of customers, it's easier to sell. Like you, you know, it's just they're like, let's say you have a painting company and you've got contracts and you're you're yearly make it. You, your business does about five hundred thousand a year. You could sell that because another painting company would like that. So there's a, you know, first of all, you got to build it and you have to make it successful. So the how to sell it part is a little premature because the business has to be successful making money and then it becomes attractive because someone would like, hey, another painting company may want to expand and they may pay you for your book of business. Uh, Companies are sold and bought all the time. And let me see. Uh, let's go. And then the personal finance channel, I'm going to get that crunk up as well. This video is for married couples only. Personal finance. So we'll get that going on. So we got B School for Hustlers and Glendon Cameron, the personal finance channel. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff from now, and we're going to hit it hard in 2020. I told you that I was going on a training creation jag, and this week, you know, we're going to be like how to start a service business. I got a video here on YouTube with 140,000 views that talks about how to start a service business because it is hands down the fastest way from you to go from broke dick Danny status to paid Percy status. Hands down. And if you pick, because there, there's so many service businesses you can pick, washing cars, dog walking, 
taking care of the elderly, delivering groceries, uh, transporting medical patients. You know, and that gets a little complicated because if you want to get paid for Medicare, you got to jump through some hoops. What are your initial thoughts on CBD cannabis business? Uh, my thoughts on that is the people in Colorado, Seattle, and California are going to have amazing benefit getting into this because, you know, everyone talks about cannabis. The Motley Fool is pushing this cannabis business. And, you know, I'm thinking about going to Colorado. So I may do a weed. Glendon gets high from some gummy bears. I may do that. Um, I feel that if you're, it's just like any other business. If you're properly positioned, you'll do well. If you're not properly positioned, it's going to suck. So it really depends because, you know, weed sounds very sexy. You know, I'm going to be selling cannabis and all this other stuff. And there's a lot to it from growing the, the right blend to there, there's so much to it that, you know, people are just like, hey, I'm going to sell weed. What kind of weed are you going to sell? I remember, I'm going to tell you a little dirty story. I was dating this chick who was an attorney and I was at her place and we were messing around and she started smoking some weed and her weed smelled like perfume. It was very nice. It wasn't, it wasn't stinky like weed normally is. It was very flagrant. And I was like, what kind of weed is she smoking? And she's like, this is my boutique blend. I don't smoke that gutter weed. Who do you think I am? I'm a classy lady, right? <laughs> she had me rolling because she was very serious about her weed. And, uh, and you know state laws as well? Yeah, because once again, there's a whole bunch about getting in the weed. And a lot of people want to jump in the weed because of the money. But do you know how to grow weed? Do you have a connect? Do you know state laws? Do you know banking laws? Because at one point, even though the state of Colorado had made weed legal, the banks were tripping and the banks were shutting down the weed dealers' bank accounts because it was still illegal at the federal level. And the banks just didn't want to deal with those hassles. So they shut down. I mean, this, you know, Light Bro 2020, this was a big business in Colorado, armed security for these weed dealers because they couldn't put their cash in the bank. I don't know if they rectified that, but these guys were literally having walking around with like drug dealers because they were drug dealers with literally cash stacked up to the ceiling because they couldn't put it in the bank. And they still had to pay taxes on it. Javon, I have a service customer. I'm almost a year and I make five thousand a month. Which course you rec I have a service customer. I'm all I am almost a Um, Javon, I have a service customer. I'm gonna assume that you've all you have a service customer based business. You make five thousand a month. Which course you recommend to take? Uh, this one, the one that I'm creating now, because I'm gonna raise the price. It's just cheap because I'm just opening it up. This one, because I'm gonna put in the same information that someone who took the course thirty days to twenty five hundred, and he took his business from twenty thousand to a hundred thousand. Because one of the things that happens as, as we as business owners is often we get lazy. And we'll stop doing the stuff that we used to do. And, you know, Chet Holmes, uh, I'm going to re reference that book. And these are the things that, you know, you need to do. She, man, Ben, she had that. It was, it was like good smelling weed. I never smelled any weed like that in my life. Like, bro, it's still illegal on the federal side of things. And this put the, but I don't know what the banks are doing because uh, I will have to Google that. But like I said, I'm thinking about going to Colorado to do a little skiing. And and if I, if I do that, I will do the video. Glendon gets high. Be funny. 
She blazed with her pinky up. Oh man, she was she was a character, man. I met her. She was another Craigslist chick, and she had this dog that used to just flop down like the dog be walking. The dog just keel over like he died or something. He's like, oh, he does that. I was like, is he okay? And I look at him, and the dog was like still breathing, but he would just flop down. Uh, black hamsters. I asked you because I have a cannabis affiliate site. I want to grow beyond just commissions. Oh, you know, once again, what are y'all selling at this cannabis site? You know, um, there, there's there's so many things that will go into this course that will be helpful, and that's why I'm putting it in B School for Hustlers because it'll be a standalone course. But for everyone who already bought B School for Hustlers digital education package. You're going to get this course as well. But like I said, I'm going to keep my word. Anything that happens before the end of the year, you know, will go in there. Probably he was high too. I don't know. The little dog, he was just like, then you hear this thump, thump, and the dog would kill over. I mean, I don't know why he did it. Maybe he was high. I don't know. But, you know, I'm really serious about this. You know, if you don't know what you want to do, a service-based business is the best business to change your economic circumstances fast. CBD Scooby Snacks, that's funny. And you know, she was smoking her weed while we were having sex. It, it was the craziest thing. It, Cause that's never happened to me. And she was just a very interesting chick. She was very interesting because she just, sexy as all get out. Sexy as she want to be. Let me see. Let me get it. Let me see if I can get in here. Hold on a second. Uh, all the governments are going to take weed off of make it schedule two, really. Uh, let's see. There she is. This chick was just she was hilarious with her weed. She was hilarious. I mean, she had me going. She was a good girl. She was a very good girl. But that, yeah, that, that was from Craigslist. She's kind of like a trust fund baby because um, she was an attorney, but her, her folks had loot. Their folks had loot, man. And a lot of loot. Jean Grey, you knew it, man. You knew it was coming. Mia got it's a bill on the table. Okay. I don't know. Should you invest money with Motley Fool? Uh Light Bro, uh, this course. This one right here. This is going to be perfect for you because you've never run a business before and it's going to give you all because this course, I'm going to make it very simple and easy to understand and direct because like I said, uh, I'm going to use the same information that I put in there the first time because now I have a better understanding foundationally. You guys need to learn how to market and sell. That is the, the genesis of Someone who's selling these and someone who bought a bunch of them from China and they sitting in their garage. You know, selling stuff is um, based upon pricing. Selling stuff is based upon the offer. Selling stuff is based upon the pain and soft. And service business, like, hey, if you, if you put up a service business and you're washing dogs, they got a dirty dog. They need their dog clean. And if you do a good job and build up a, a book of business uh there's a chick she has a mobile dog washing 
uh, business and I see her van around here all the time and she drives up to your house and she washes your dog yeah that's the 299 course because it's going to be cheap until I, I get it built up it's 25th infantry man 25th infantry Uh, Charles, I am not moving the schools. The hustler's Kung Fu life skill is still very much valid. I'm creating new education based on digital education. B-School for Hustlers is going to be how to make money online. That's going to be the genesis. And Hustler's Kung Fu, because, you know, I I'm starting it. I mean, honestly, I would put it at Hustler's Kung Fu, how to start a service business, but... I'm offering a payment plan. And essentially, if I put it at uh, Hustlers Kung Fu, then I'm going to have to, because people take advantage of the payment plan, then I, they'll have to go through PayPal, then I have to add them. And since I got Stripe of all payment processors for B-School for Hustlers, I don't have to do that. And it's just like you sign up for the payment plan, you get immediate access to the course, you get started. So that's going to reduce a lot of friction. So Charles Johnson, uh, no, uh, I'm just putting, you know, uh, what I'm done. Cause I actually sent out an email the other night, giving everybody who bought the original art of holding a discount to the new art of holding the strategic holding plan. Cause it, it's going to include a lot more. So check your email. So, you know, if you, uh, go ahead and sign up for B school for hustlers, you're going to get new and improved and different training. It won't be the same stuff. I just moved it over there because of the payment process, because I mean, you know, it works, but it's additional steps because you go ahead and you hit a PayPal link. Then I have to add you. And most of y'all buy in the middle of the night. I don't know what's up with that. Most of my sales happen between 10 and like four o'clock in the morning. Dark side 90. Thanks for the five dollars super chat. Uh, I'm going to actually next year. I'm going to have a course on how to create courses. That's coming. That's part of the digital education package. All right. Uh, you can go ahead and get this course, Palandra, because uh, it includes the money management course. And it's the same price as the money management course because it includes the money management course. I will be increasing this price uh, the beginning of the year. All right, you were at Kaneoli Light, bro. Hawaii was a trip. Jean Grey. I don't usually get home till after 11 p.m. I mean, this 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 was the funniest thing because I, I remember in a, a group I was on Facebook and I was talking about, it's like all my sales happen between like 11 and four o'clock in the morning. And this was a big thing. You know, now they happen throughout the day, but it, I mean, for a long time, it was in the middle of the night. Shit be real in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That is crazy. But one of the things that we're going to do, I was in Camp Lejeune in Oakville. Oh, all right. That's how you know about 25th ID. We went to Japan for a training. I actually ended up staying in Japan like six months. Cause I went advanced party and I was the cleanup crew. I was at Kaneohe Bay from 1999 to 2003. Yeah, Hawaii is a different country, man. It's, it's really different. A lot of people don't understand that. So, you know, I'll be talking about this some more, but you know, this week, you know, cause I don't have no little kids, you know, Christmas, me and my girl, we're just going to hang out for Christmas. You know, she's got some stuff she's going to do during the day. And then we're going to hang out Christmas Eve, probably go to movies and stuff like that. And um, but I'm working. I, I'm, I've been working. I am because like I'm excited for this course because, see, once again, this is a course I can sell for years. 
I don't like the whole lunch method of hype, 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 or spend a lot of money on, on paid traffic and get a bunch of people in. Because what happens is when you do that, you create this mania and you create this event. And essentially, like I sold 30 days to 2,500 for years. <laughs> Jerry, you're going to have to refresh your screen. So once again, for anyone that's interested in starting a Charles Johnson, I sit down to write proposals, return email from 12 to 3 a.m. A lot of business owners be burning the midnight oil, literally. But this course will be for anyone who doesn't know what they really want to do, uh, making low income, and want to learn how to run a business. Because you can start a service business, like, once again, Erica Williams. This is how she did it. She started two service businesses to free herself from the job to do what she's doing now. Because essentially, once you get your money, because this includes the money management course, which will teach you how to segment and properly optimize your money. And then once you do that with the money you already have, and then you go ahead and make more money, you'll be able to see money stack up. And then your life will literally change. I remember I got this email because I used to be talking really a lot about saving money, how everybody needs to save money. And I, I think I'll go back to that. And this guy emailed me. He said, man, my tooth started hurting me. And I've been listening to you for a year. And I realized I had $1,200 in the bank. So he went ahead and got his tooth fixed and paid the dental bill out of the money he had saved. And he didn't have to bring it out of current cash flow. Because this is what kills people. You know, as long as nothing goes wrong, you're good. You can pay your bills. But if the car breaks down or there's some unusual expense, it literally wrecks your budget then this is when you got to go into getting the debt or borrow money. And then this is creates a problem. The new star Wars. I'm going to go see that out. I'm going to, I want to check that out. Honey bunny late night is when the kids and family are sleeping. There's less interruption. It's like being in the office by yourself. Tony Crump, a marketing agency is a service business. So, yep. Light bro, it'll be learn at your own pace. I don't do that log in at certain times because, you know, I'll get people from all over the world, all over the United States buying this in different time zones. And um, I don't know, Dark Side. I haven't really heard anything about it, but I'm going to see it because I'm a Star Wars fan. I've got Darth Vader in the kitchen. I got a stormtrooper in the kitchen and I got a stormtrooper guarding the front door. I'm a big Star Wars fan. So... Yeah, this will be self-paced because like right now, let me see. You go in there. Let me go. Let's see. Um, whoa. You go in there because this is what the bundle, because it's a, it's a bundle. So you have that. So this is, this is your first course. Your first part of this course is already done. I mean, it's going to take you a minute to get through all this. And what I've done is everyone that takes this course, uh, there will be a discount when you're ready because you know i want you to go ahead and get your business up and running making money and then when you get ready to set up your holding company and stuff um i'm going to give you guys who take this course a discount where you can get that course because i don't want you to start your holding company i don't want you to start your llc's just yet i want you to start making money now light bro you in a whole different situation so it'll be a little different for you be very different for you because you know your my recommendations would be for you to go ahead get your holding company and llc because you're retired and you've got money coming in and you're not working and you're getting ready to get into security which would require that
Yeah, so I will be working on that this week. And just to go through the money management course, it'll take you a week or two just to get through that. And then I want you to look at your service business, go through that training, start doing that stuff. Or maybe you could do it concurrently. So with that, I will see you guys later. The course, the bundle, is this a bundle, is below. And the price of the bundle is going to go up the beginning of the year because there's going to be way more to it. So with that, I will see you savages later. Have a good night. And think about all the money you can make with your service business. Peace.